Hi everyone with Motion VFX. In this video, I will show you how to mix multiple plugins from Motion VFX in order to add dynamism to your edit. But first, let's see the project, a sport opener. In this project, I've mainly used three plugins from Motion VFX: M Film Look for the color grading, M Intro Glitch for the titles, and M Transition Scrub for the transition and the scrubbing effects. For the color grading, I've used M Film Look to give a cinematic look to my shots. Here, a quick before and after. I've mainly used the presets available and tweaked some parameters to fit with the various shots. To add a cinematic look to your shot with Mfilm Look, it's quite easy. You just have to open the library effects. Then in Mfilm Look folder, you can preview the result by skimming the preset and apply it. Or you can start from scratch. When you have applied your preset, you can customize any parameters at any time by adding or removing effects. As the project mix several shots with different aspect ratio, I've used an adjustment layer created in motion. and add a new MFM look on it. I've selected the default preset, then I've activated the letterbox effect and adjust the right ratio for all the projects. You can also have the same result by creating a compound clip, instead the adjustment layer, and apply the MFM look effect on the compound clip. Let's talk about the titles. For this project, I've used M Intro Glitch. M Intro Glitch is a complete collection of 31 openers, which will energize your work with stunning effects and high-end digital distortion. It is a perfect match with the transition scrub that we will use later on. As usual, you can preview each title by skimming the thumbnails. As you can see, there are various animations. To start the project, I need an opener where I can show a logo. I will select the number 15 with a cross. In the inspector, depending on the openers you've chosen, you will have access to specific effect parameters like noise, glitch, glow, focus, and many more. For this one, I will keep the animation in and out and I will keep the logo. If you lack this opener but you will need a text and not a logo, you can switch at any time to the text intro type. To add the right logo, I will click on the drop zone parameter and select my logo. You can adjust the scale. You can also adjust each parameter to customize the opener. Here, I will reduce a little bit the glint effect.
during the project, I will need to display key sentences. I will keep using M intro glitch with other presets. After adding the titles, I can check the edit. It is nice, but as it is a sport opener, I will need to add more dynamism, energy character to the shots. It could be a long and painful process by adding retaining ramp or animation on each shot, but here I will use the M transition scrub, which will spice my edit in two seconds. To find M transition scrub, you will have to go to the transitions library. M transition scrub contains 30 transitions plus one custom transition. To apply a transition, you can drag and drop the transition on the cut or select the cut and double click on the transition. In this case, by adding the transition 13, I will add some nice scrubbing acceleration at the end of the first clip, but also at the beginning of the second clip. For all the transition, you will be able to customize all the effects. Each transition gets their own parameters. In any case, you will be able to switch on or off the transition A or B in case you just want to apply the effect on a specific timing. You will be able to activate or deactivate each parameter, like the overdrive effect, for example. Switch between light or dark lens dirt. Adding some scrub effect will add dynamism to repetitive motion or linear motion. What I really like about M Transition Scrub is that you can use it also inside one clip to create some nice scrubbing effects. To do so, you just have to add a cut inside your clip, then apply a transition on this cut. As you can see, it's really fast and easy to create some complex scrubbing effects. Some transitions add also some distortion effects, like this one, for example. but you can also create your own transition. To do so, I will select this clip. I would like to add some energy to this slow motion. So I will create a cut with a blade tool in the middle of the clip, and I will add the M Transition Scrub custom preset. With this preset, I can build from scratch the effect. I've got access to all the parameters. Let's look at the footage clone parameter. With this parameter, you will be able to create some ghosting effect using the X and Y offset parameter. You can also change the size and the blending mode. To conclude this project, I will add a transition between the last shot and the ending title. As the titles are based on distortion, I will add this transition, as this one adds some nice distortion effect which will match perfectly with this title, like this. To have more information about M-Film Look, M-Intro Glitch or M-Transition Scrub, one address, motionvfx.com. To get more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to MotionVFX YouTube channels. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.